Microbe Whisperer is about microbe animal guides, microbes that have unique ways of thriving in the multitude of habitats that abound upon and beneath Mother Earth. Waterfalls, creeks, rivers, and ponds are all Mother Earth's bloodstream coursing through our thirsty inlands. Today, I focus our energy towards a microbe that lives in the oceans near the deep sea bends such as at the Galapagos Rift. This microbe is called an endosymbiont because it lives symbiotically within a special type of worm that has designed its entire body to house and feed these bacteria. This tube worm called Riftia has no digestive system such as a mouth, gut, or anus. This makes them completely dependent on their endosymbiotic bacteria. These endosymbiotic bacteria feed on hydrogen sulfide, oxygen, and CO2 derived from the minerals that are dissolved in over 100 C degrees water at the hydrothermal sea vents. The tube worms are designed specifically to house and feed these endosymbiont bacteria with unique vascularized red plums that act like gills to absorb oxygen and hydrogen sulfide from seawater and have special hemoglobin that binds the oxygen and hydrogen sulfide simultaneously, giving their endosymbiont microbial guests oxidized hydrogen sulfide as food. This adaptation between the host tube worm and its endosymbiont evolved over millennia, creating an inseparable bond because now they cannot live without the other. The relationship between the endosymbiont and the Riftia tube worms suggests a deeply spiritual lesson, one that is best illustrated by a parable that recounts a man's visit to heaven and hell. Go ahead and read the blog post for this tale, and thank you for your desire to become a microbe whisperer too.